Hey guys, JV here from InfoHut with today's guide of getting Windows 11 freshly installed on your device, being a laptop or desktop. This guide is different to the other ones as the other ones just give you that Windows update recommendation. That's great and all if you wanna you know, do keep some certain files and documents, but personally, I like to have a clean slate where I can just install from scratch and uh, it's beneficial as well if you need to install it on multiple machines. So essentially what we're doing is making a USB drive with installation media on there and then you plug it in and go through the installation after the, the BIOS post screen. So what you obviously need is your USB drive and uh, it needs to have su sufficient space. I think it's a minimum eight gigabyte and obviously an internet connection. So once again, uh, this is a really easy process. Let's get started. Okay, so you need to go to the Microsoft download site and in the description below, I've got the link on where to go exactly. So you have the option to create Windows 11 installation media. So that's what we're gonna click as it'll do an automated process on creating a bootable Windows 11 installation. So click on download. I've obviously already downloaded it and you open the file. <clears throat> And you'll be greeted with this getting a few things ready message that only takes about 30 seconds or so, except the uh, terms of service. And then you select the edition you want to download. Uh, at the moment, it only has Windows 11, but I do know during the installation process, you can pick different versions of that. So I use recommended options for this PC, then click next. Then obviously we pick USB flash drive. And as I said before, it needs a minimum of eight gig. You can also just download the ISO file and put it onto another uh, DVD or USB later, but that'll be a bit trickier as you might need certain software like Rufus to do that. So we click on next and you select the USB flash drive and then you'll get a progress indicating the download. It's about 5.1 gigs, so depending on your internet connection, it may take a while and uh, let that finish. Now, the great thing is once it's finished downloading, there's nothing to do after that. It'll tell you to click finish and it'll say the USB is essentially ready. Now, after this, all you need to do is make sure you've backed up all your relevant data in the previous version of Windows you have, because remember, when you do a clean install, it's gonna wipe everything that you choose to delete off that hard drive. There is another option to keep original settings from Windows 10, but if you were to do that, I would just suggest doing the, the actual upgrade from Windows Update. So. You need to just make sure that everything's backed up if you're doing a total clean install. Now, make sure that when you do the install and it's not detecting that the USB is there, you need to go into BIOS and make sure that uh, it is gonna be detected and it is gonna be your primary drive to detect when BIOS does uh, present uh, the post screen. So if you've got any questions, drop a comment below. Also, please like and subscribe because there's a good chance that if even if you're not going to install it now, you wanna come back to this video, you'll have it saved in the previously likes and obviously the channel will be subscribed to. So once again, thank you. And the next video I'm gonna be showing is essential apps to have for Windows 11. So once again, thanks a lot, bye for now.